Welcome to the Forecast Pro video tutorial on machine learning. In this video, we're going to focus on the machine learning algorithms that are incorporated into Forecast Pro Track version 7. Over the last decade, machine learning has solidified into a solid field of study. What this has done is solidified a framework of how machine learning will be used. And there's two main ways of using machine learning. There is unsupervised and supervised. With unsupervised machine learning, you're really looking at lots and lots of data and trying to figure out a pattern in this data. This is very good for some of the things that we would associate with machine learning, like speech and facial recognition. Supervised machine learning, however, has both input and output, and this is where we would really use it for demand forecasting. We want to be able to input historical data, and we want to be able to output actual forecasts. And this is where we'll be focusing our effort in Forecast Pro. The technique of machine learning that Forecast Pro has incorporated is what's called extreme gradient boosting with regression trees. These algorithms have been shown to perform very well when it comes to forecasting demand. It has been tested in many different uh, forecasting competitions, the most recent of which was the M5 competition. This method uses multiple regression trees where it's looking at different decision making to determine the best possible forecasting. This is done behind the scenes in Forecast Pro where we use lots and lots of these regression trees to come up with a final forecast. Let's look at an example in Forecast Pro. We have loaded in our Acme hardware data, and here it comes in. You can see that machine learning is actually turned off by default. If we look at our expert analysis section, you can see our algorithms are trying different time series methods like exponential smoothing, Box Jenkins, and custom exponential smoothing models. Here, we are not considering machine learning at this point. In order to turn that on, we need to go to our global options, and come under our performance tab. You can see machine learning is excluded by default. We're going to go ahead and turn this off and recalculate our data. Now that machine learning has been turned on, you can see in our expert analysis section, we are now considering machine learning as one of our algorithms. Now in this case, this item does not choose machine learning. It still uses our time series methods. But if we were to come to this item, you can see it actually did choose a machine learning algorithm. And in the model detail section, you can actually see the algorithm itself. You can see the tree depth that was used as well as the number of decision trees that were made. These features are proprietary to the Forecast Pro expert selection in trying to find the best possible forecast available. So when using machine learning as part of the expert selection system, Forecast Pro is going to try both time series as well as machine learning algorithms and pick which one it thinks is the best. On the other hand, we can also customize our machine learning algorithms. If we come up to the forecasting tab, you will see we have a machine learning section and we can pick automatic, the expert with machine learning, or manage. Let's take a look at what these actually mean. As we just saw, we had three options, automatic, expert with machine learning, and manage. With an automatic model, we are going to force a machine learning model. Forecast Pro will optimize what it thinks is the best model to generate the best possible forecast. The expert with machine learning is what we just looked at automatically. This will compare time series techniques to machine learning and pick which it thinks is the best. Manage allows you to build a custom machine learning model. In a custom model, we have the ability to come in and actually set explanatory variables, specify maximum tree depths, as well as the different parameters that will be used. Let's take a look at this in our example. So here, if I were to force an automatic model, you will see it picks what it thinks is the best machine learning model as opposed to using time series. Again, it automatically picks our tree depth as well as the number of trees and the different features that it will use, creating what it thinks is the best possible model. Our expert with machine learning, again, what this will do is it will compare different time series methods to machine learning. And you can see here in our competition, exponential smoothing had the lowest error, so it will use exponential smoothing. 
Finally, I could choose Manage, which would allow me to create a custom machine learning algorithm where I could bring in different parameters as well. So again, I have different options using the machine learning algorithms to set up what I think will produce the best statistical forecast.